Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. 690000 dollars is being advanced by the province of Saskatchewan to enhance dialysis treatments for patients in the Cypress Health region. Cancer survivors and teams from across southern Saskatchewan took to the track of the 12th annual Relay for Life in Swift Current. Weeks of fundraising culminated as participants gathered to walk in memory of family and friends who fought a battle with cancer. The first weekend in June is one everyone looks forward to as another busy summer launches with the annual picnic in the park. As hundreds of hot dogs were cooked up on the grill, the crowd enjoyed an array of food and entertainment at old-fashioned prices. Thanks for joining us here today. Southwest Saskatchewan residents will benefit from provincial funding, targeting dialysis treatments at the Cypress Regional Hospital. We have more in today's top story. $690,000 is being advanced by the province of Saskatchewan to enhance dialysis treatments for patients in the Cypress Health region. With the latest investment, the patient capacity will now expand from 12 to 18 by the end of this year, with the opportunity to further grow to 24 in total. An improvement which Premier Brad Wall says comes from the insistence of local residents. The people like Craig Brown and patient family members have been advocating to our office uh, and uh, I know to members of the board that this, uh, this is a very compelling uh, funding application that b basically was coming uh, and so it's great that we could be here today basically doubling the capacity of, of dialysis and taking care of at least the three that are on the wait list and if we need to expand beyond that we now have some capacity. Wall goes on to add that the funding was not an initial promise in the 2013 budget, but comes from an ongoing contingency in health care funding. In the health budget, it's 44% of an $11 billion budget. You know, there's, there's not specifics always for each and every one of these investments, but there's certainly the capacity within the ministry to, as long as it's in, in line with the principles of patient first and our initiatives that we have across the piece for the government to be able to advance these sort of dollars. Now with the advanced funding in place by the province, the Cypress Health region will take necessary steps in the area of staffing for the dialysis unit. Well actually right away our staff have already um, rearranged rotations and, and taken on some extra hours so that they can up staff and, and offer an increased service immediately. But we will have to hire staff first of all and then there's a significant amount of training that takes place at the home unit in Regina and then come back and do some training here at the Cypress Regional Hospital as well. The dialysis unit at the Cypress Regional Hospital will now increase its services from three to six days per week, offering quality of life enhancing treatments while decreasing travel time for residents of southwest Saskatchewan. Renal dialysis service has been offered at the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current since 2000. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. Trust the team at Pinnacle Financial to help you reach your financial goals. Whether you require personal or corporate income tax planning, bookkeeping, management consulting, or full-service mortgage brokering, our expert team has you covered. Contact us today to begin your climb to the top. The Swift Current Relay for Life was another success, with close to $72,000 raised for cancer research. Cancer survivors and teams from across southern Saskatchewan took to the track of the 12th annual Relay for Life in Swift Current. Weeks of fundraising culminated as participants gathered to walk in memory of family and friends who fought a battle with cancer. The top fundraising team of the event was Al's pals from Shonovan, who raised over $18,000 for the relay. An emotional journey for Brooklyn Krause and her team. My dad recently passed and lots of it was just from amazing support from family and friends and uh, 
We had a um, an Alice Pals basketball uh, weekend in Seanovan and had uh, some raffle tables and donations at the door. And just uh, Seanovan is such a supportive community. It was a great event. And uh, it, we also had a raffle basket donated by a family friend, uh, Christine and Dennis Wadira. And so, and uh, yeah, just support um, the Snack Shack and Seanovan had uh, buckets set up at their store. And just, uh, yeah, it was great. It all came together. The Relay for Life Unites teams and other participants from all walks of life all touched by cancer in some form, while all focusing on one fundraising goal. We actually have quite a few people on our team, probably 25 or 30 family members that have had cancer for the variety of the teams. So grandmothers, mothers, sons, um, best friends, unfortunately it touches a lot of people. Oh, it's huge. It's uh, for a cancer survivor or a cancer patient. This is what um, sometimes gets us to and from our appointments or um, different programs. I'm on the peer support team, so I actually get I phone other cancer survivors or cancer patients when they're in treatment and I help them through it. The keynote speaker of the evening was Diane Warren of Regina, an eight-time cancer survivor who spoke of her journey over the years as she's battled breast, brain, bone, lung, and now liver cancer for a third time. Warren encouraged the crowd to have hope, believe in miracles, and have faith. You have to believe in miracles. You have to have the right attitude to beat this disease. And you know what? Everyone deserves to fight back with everything they've got. Don't think you don't have it in you. You do have that courage and strength to beat the odds. I did it, and I've done it now. I'm doing it eight times. Warren also took time to meet the crowd and autograph the book Never Leave Your Wingman, an autobiography of her and her husband Graham's journey while battling cancer, a process she's used as therapy as well. It's made me stronger. It has definitely made me stronger. I didn't know I had this strength. I mean, this is the eighth time I'm battling this disease, and now it's, okay, another cancer? I can do it. I've been down this road many a time. And like I said, I mean, I laugh and I giggle. We have fun in treatment. It's about showing this cancer who's boss, and I am. One dollar from each copy of Warren's book will go towards cancer research in Saskatchewan and is available from the Allen Blair Cancer Gift Shop in Regina and all Coles and Chapters stores across Canada. The Swift Current Relay for Life is one of hundreds of other events being held across Canada, all in support of cancer research. Another exciting WMBL season is underway, and the Swift Current Indians have their eye on the pennant. We have more in this report. Swift Current Indians baseball is back on the field and ready to tackle the dog days of summer. The season home opener kicked off with the ceremonial first pitch being thrown by Montreal Canadian and Swift Current native Travis Moen, followed by a marathon game which saw the Indians defeat the visiting Edmonton prospects 4-3 in extra innings. Head coach Joe Carnahan has been busy assembling the team in the offseason and explains how the team is shaping up for the 2013 season. We got quite a few new players. Uh, you know, we probably only have eight or nine returners from last year, so we got, got about 18 new guys and, uh, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of new energy, so you got guys kind of feeling themselves out a little bit right now. But, uh, but I mean, it's baseball. No matter where you go, it's still baseball, 90 feet and 60 feet, 6 inches from the mound of the plate. So, I mean, it's time to get after it. New additions to the team come from all over North America, including California, Texas, Arizona, and British Columbia. Playing for the Indians provides the opportunity for players to gain valuable baseball experience and puts them one step closer towards playing in the major leagues. New Indian players explain their reason for jumping on the opportunity to come to Swift Current. Uh, yeah, it's definitely um, a step in the right direction. Um, it's one of the reasons why I came up here. I, I know uh, talking with Joe, he said there's, he's had a lot of success getting guys in, onto the next level, and that's one of, the, one of the big reasons why I decided to come up to Canada. I'm actually from uh, Tucson, Arizona, down there, and my pitching coach at the community college I attend, does, uh, he played college ball with Coach Joe here, and you know they were communicating and talked about me, and I wanted to get away from the heat, come up here and play some ball. The Indians have had first-round exits from the playoffs the past two seasons a statistic that does not sit well with Carnahan. He spent the offseason closely examining this team and discusses what the Indians need to improve upon, as well as their strengths. 
The biggest thing we strive for this year is a balance. Uh, defensively balanced, we want to step up a little bit from last year. Uh, we were kind of a little bit uh, weak on the defensive side, and, and uh, this year so far we've done a good job with that. And we got a lot of guys that can swing the bat, a lot of guys who've been successful uh, you know, on their prior teams in college and stuff. So, I mean, uh, we should be pretty good. We should have a little bit of punch, a little bit of speed, and, and uh, it should be an exciting summer. The Indians have a busy summer on the WNBL schedule with their eye on the championship pennant. The full schedule for the Swift Current Indians is available online. For Southwest TV News, I'm Scott Armstrong. The following is a paid political commentary by David Anderson, MP for Cypress Hills Grasslands, and does not in any way reflect the opinion of Southwest TV News. Hi, this is David Anderson. Welcome to my June Anderson Report. Coming from Western Canada, Senate reform has been part of our political discussion for decades. The problem is that it just never came about. We're finally on our way to reform. To make structural changes to the Senate, we need clarification on constitutional requirements. Some things can be done by Parliament, some by agreement with the majority of the provinces, and some will require unanimity. We've referred Bill C-7 to the Supreme Court. They will determine and advise us on what we can do through Parliament. C-7 focuses on changes like term limits and Senate elections. The court will give direction as to how far we can go. In the meantime, the Senate has finally moved to address the issue of expense claims of Senators. They brought in 11 different provisions that will now require Senators to be accountable. While the House of Commons has had a comprehensive system for claims, it's only now that the Senate is putting these same provisions in place. They include a requirement to provide receipts for claims restrictions on where air travel can be done, and direction on how many per diems can be claimed. They will provide much needed clarity around residency requirements. This is a good start, but must be followed with more substantive change. If not, the real possibility exists that Canadians will demand the abolishment of this institution. That's a comment from David Anderson, Member of Parliament, Cypress Hills Grasslands. A summer tradition continues in Swift Current with the annual picnic in the park and the Duck Derby. We bring you all the highlights in the Summer Around the Southwest feature. This Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest feature is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. The first weekend in June is one everyone looks forward to as another busy summer launches with the annual picnic in the park. As hundreds of hot dogs were cooked up on the grill, the crowd enjoyed an array of food and entertainment at old-fashioned prices. A community gathering which Innovation Credit Union is pleased to host each year. Well, we're very community focused, as you know. Um, we, we, like to, we like to focus on all aspects of the community so we don't channel our resources or our donations or our volunteer hours just to one specific part that uh, kind of you know gives you a Sunday you can come and you don't have to spend 50 bucks to entertain the kids uh, and even if you look at our, our stations you know they're just basic they're not fancy and and I think it gives a pretty good balance for the family. Along with the many activities for the children car enthusiasts made their way over to the Speedy Creek Racing Association corner of the park to check out the many vehicles on display. A great afternoon for fans and racers. Just basically do it for the fun weekend and spend some time talking to people. Another crowd favorite at the picnic is the annual Duck Derby. Now into its 25th year, the lighthearted race brings crowds to the creek bank to watch the ducks cross the finish line for an array of prizes. Kiwanis Club members volunteer their time each year from the overall organization of the race to calling the winner at the finish line. A new experience for Scott Cassidy. It's a rookie initiation within the Kiwanis Club, so it should be good. Apparently they've all done it before from what they say, so we'll see. The, owner the yellow hat. Too. The yellow hat? Sure. Or you can wear them both. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awesome. And as the Ducks were being prepared for the start of the race, onlookers were keeping a close watch on the strategy of the contenders in the water. What's, what's going through my mind is I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the upset, I'm looking for the, the, the duck that wants it the most. Obviously it's, it's all about uh, desire in a plastic duck race and I'm, I'm really hoping that you know, the, the duck that truly wants it the most ends up as 
as the winner today. As the Ducks raced through the Swift Current Creek and crossed the finish line, prizes were awarded to the lucky patrons of the afternoon. With all proceeds once again going towards Southwest Crisis Services. We do three main fundraisers each year, so this one is certainly important to us and the proceeds go to support all of the programs that run out of the safe shelter. So that would be the shelter itself, our women's outreach program, our children's outreach program, our Genesis House second stage housing and the crisis line as well. The Innovation Credit Union Picnic in the Park and Southwest Crisis Services Deck Derby are held each year on the first Sunday in June in Swift Current. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.